Hello everyone. Today we'll solve one functional equation. Uh, f domain is real number from r plus to r. Uh, f of x y is equal to f of x minus f of one by x y. We have to solve this functional equation. And if you would like to give it a try, pause the video. Otherwise, keep watching, and we'll solve this problem. So you see this problem. Uh, is sent. This problem has sent. By someone to me, someone sent me this problem to my email, and so I am trying to solve this one. Let's see what happens. So let's write the uh, equation. So when f defined as okay, its domain is real number. F of x y is equal to f of x minus f of one by y because one by y is there. Obviously, y is not equal to zero, so you cannot take y is equal to zero, or x is also not equal to zero because of this domain here. So what we will do here? So what we will do here? Let's take. Let's take uh, x is equal to one, and see what happens. So if I take x is equal to one. If I take x is equal to one and y is equal to one, what I'll get is f of one is equal to f of one minus f of one. So I'll get f of one is equal to zero. Wow, this is very surprising. And later I think we may need this one. So give it equation one. And let's try something else for this equation. And x is equal to one and only x is equal to one. And let's see what happens. So if you take x equals to one, f of y is equals to f of one minus f of one by y. And as you know, f of one is zero from previous equation, right? Here we found. So using this, what we'll get? f of y is equals to minus f of one by y. Or f of one by y is equals to minus f of y. Let's keep it for further use. Say equation two. Now let's take the original equation. So you see here, f of x y is equals to f of x and minus. Instead of f of one by y, you know that from previous equation we can write this as minus f of y, right? And therefore, this gives us f of x y is equals to f of x plus f of y. Okay, so now we have f of x y is equals to f of x plus f of y. But this looks familiar, isn't it? Ah, uh, right. This is the famous Cauchy's functional equation, uh, where f of x y equals to f of x plus f of y, and this functional equation is continuous. This function is continuous, and it has a specific solution. And from Cauchy's functional equation, we know that the solution is when f of x is equals to when taken f of x k ln x. So this has a solution when this function is taken k ln x and so on. And I hope you liked it. This was very easy one and simple. And we'll see you next time. See you. Take care. Bye bye.